Okay, so the Yankees just made a ton of roster moves, and it's a little bit confusing because if you just read how, what it says, it appears that Harrison Bader is out for the season, but it's a little bit more complex than that. So in today's video, I'm just going to be explaining what the Yankees announced and what it really means. So let's get into this. So the Yankees announced that Nestor Cortez Jr. is going on the 15-day IL, Harrison Bader is going on the 60-day IL, Craig Weser is added to the active roster, and Giancarlo Stanton is back from his rehab assignment. <clears throat> so I did a video earlier today giving my thoughts on these moves, but now that we have the details, some people are a little bit confused on what's happening with Harrison Bader. So Bader is moved to the 60-day IL. This is because Greg Weser <clears throat> was not on the 40-man roster, so they needed the 40-man spot, and moving Bader to the 60-day opens up the 40-man roster spot. But wait, does this mean that Harrison Bader is now out for the season? No. It's retroactive um, to, whenever, to when the la player last played. So Bader has been out for a couple months now with his foot injury. So he can come off of the IL whenever. He was on the 10 day IL. Now that they've moved him to the 60, it doesn't mean it's 60 days from now. It's when he last played. That was months ago. He can come out for the IL whenever he wants. So this was really just to make room on the 40-man roster for Greg Weser. Now, Nestor Cortez, it's a similar situation here. He's placed on the 15-day IL, but it's retroactive to the 22nd. So the clock is not 15 days from now. It's 15 days from the 22nd. So he has 12 days on the IL, I believe. So you're probably going to be seeing Clark Schmidt start two games that Cortez isn't going to. This makes me and a lot of other fans inclined to think this is a phantom IL stint where the Yankees just place him on the IL. That way it limits innings. I think that's the most likely thing here because Cortez was getting up near an inning high. They really want to be safe with him going into the postseason. Again, he'll be back right in time for September call-ups. Not going to be an issue there. This is most likely just to limit his innings and make sure that he's healthy. Now, all these move moves also make the 40-man roster a little confusing when all of the injured players come back. So I'm going to do a video tomorrow analyzing the Yankees' 40-man roster and what they are going to do when all of the injured players are healthy. So, so make sure you subscribe um, so you don't miss out on that video. But that is the update, the Yankees' moves, and why Harrison Bader is actually not out for the season.